What's up you guys? Welcome to today's video. As you can tell by the title, I have a very pointless video for you today, but I'm going to be sharing with you how inmates curl their hair in prison. If you guys are new here, hi, my name is Jess. I'm a person in long-term recovery who has served time in prison and my entire crazy life story is in the description box down below. If you want to follow me on any other social media platform, TikTok, Instagram, Patreon, that's $2. It's only ever going to be $2. All of that is linked down below as well as my vlog channel and my podcast. So yeah, a lot of stuff going on in the description box. All right, let's go ahead and kick this thing off. So if you guys have been following me for some time now, you know that I have done all kinds of crazy videos. Prison makeup, jail makeup, prison skincare that Hiram reacted to, which was so embarrassing. What inmates use toilet paper for, what inmates use soap for. I've made all different kinds of videos about this. I thought it is time. It is time to share with all of you, the ride or die crew, how inmates curl their hair in prison. I have mentioned this before, but I've never demonstrated it. So here we go. Toilet paper. <laughs> now some of you might be asking me, Jess, oh my God, why would they be wasting toilet paper. I thought you can only get X amount of rolls per week. Yeah, some facilities are, you know, decent about giving you more toilet paper. Some people hoard toilet paper. You know, there are ways to go about it. I've heard that some facilities sell toilet paper. I don't remember if I was in a prison that sold toilet paper or if someone just told me that. Jury's still out. I'm not sure. But here we go. Now, I um, don't like curly hair on myself and that's probably because I have naturally wavy hair. <laughs> Um, but I'm going to try my absolute best to demonstrate this for you guys. You need about this much. And I've seen this done a thousand times, but I'm just not very good at it. Now, we want big sections because I have shit to do today. Um, and I'm going to take my Dollar Tree squirt bottle. I'm gonna squirt my hair. We want it a little bit moist. <laughs> I know people hate that word, I'm so annoying today. I'm so annoying. Okay, and we're going to roll it. Gonna roll it. Just, it's so glamorous. Okay, hold on, hold on. I think I need a longer piece. One, two, three, four. Four squares, man. That's a lot. That's a, that's a lot of squares to be rolling our hair with. Round two. I feel like I could do this on someone else's hair so much easier than I can do it on my own. I can't braid my own hair, but I can braid my daughter's hair. And you have to tie it. So if you want really small curls, you would do this smaller. Okay, cool. You would obviously do it smaller. And it looks a little crazy. Probably not gonna do a curl. But, you know, I don't wanna mess up my makeup because I do have somewhere I have to go. Should I make my kids come up here? I could do it on their hair way better. I'm just wetting the toilet paper just a little bit to kind of mush it together, which you probably shouldn't do. That's probably a bad idea. I mean, none of this is a good idea, so. Whew. Okay, we have two, we have two in. I wanted them to be big and like loose curls. I'm sure you guys are watching at home like, this is horrible. It's just not tight enough, that's my problem. I'm gonna try to do a smaller one. You wouldn't believe the amazing curls I've seen in prison. I mean, just absolutely gorgeous. That looks a little better, which, no it doesn't. But it has to look like that. Like it has to be tied up, you know? All right guys, I'm gonna redo this one because it was it's just driving me crazy. I think. I wanted to try to do really big curls, but that's just not working the way that I wanted it to, so I'm just gonna make them smaller. I could do this so much better on someone else's hair. Okay guys, I'm gonna redo this curl, because you know, I just think smaller ones are the way to go. Um, fun fact, I used to cut hair in the county jail, and they wouldn't let us have scissors, so we had to borrow the clippers from the men, ew, and I used to cut hair with clippers. So, you know, some girls would want fades, some girls would just want a trim, and I learned how to do that with clippers because I needed ramen noodles. <laughs> I'm gonna twist it and maybe that'll work better. Yeah, the smaller ones are easier. Of course, I'm wearing a black shirt, so it's hard to see the curl. You know, everything is a learning curve in jail and prison, but some people are kind enough to show you how to do things. Spreading eyebrows, curling hair. It takes skill and it takes talent to do these things. <laughs> but when I was in county jail this last time, um, a girl wanted her hair dreaded. She wanted dreads. Um, she had my texture hair, and I was telling her like, whew, girl, that's gonna take a lot of work. I mean, dreads in general take a lot of work, right? But I'm gonna need something to help make it sticky, and she's like, well, let's just use Jolly Ranchers. And I'm like, let's just not. Oh my God, why would you wanna use Jolly Ranchers? It's your hair. But she's like, no, it's fine. So I made a little crochet needle out of 
something. Maybe I used the back of a book and I made this little crochet needle and I did dreads for her and we used Jolly Ranchers and it was a flaming hot mess. But when she got out, she had them washed and she had them like touched up a little bit and she kept those dreads for years. So I feel as though I did a good job. <laughs> she actually just recently had a baby. So yes, I do still talk to people that I did some time with. She was one of them. She was super nice to me. She um, didn't end up going to prison. She just did some county time. She was in for non-payment of fines. I don't know why we're talking about her, but I just remember like doing dreads and thinking, gosh, I'm, I don't know how to do this, but I learned. And I would do all kinds of braids, um, cornrows and just whatever the girls asked me for. And that was one of my hustles. And if someone wanted their hair curled the next day, either they would do this or I would do braids. So I'd wet their hair, I'd do a really, really tight, tight, tight braid. And then in the morning we'd take it out, obviously the hair is crimpy, but these curls are different. So, you know, inmates are always coming up with the most creative ways to get something done, like toilet paper curlers. Once you have all of your hair done, you just tie it up in a ponytail. I'm not gonna do all of my hair, um, but I am gonna wait until this dries and I'll be right back. Okay, so because my hair is dark, I took off my black shirt. Let's see how the first one I did is doing. Oh my God, look. Look at this curl. Now, if I had more patience and actually, oh, okay, it died. What? Oh no. Well, it's wavy. It looked cute at first, did it not? It's still a little damp. So because I didn't sleep with them, I'm sure it's not gonna be the best thing ever. Hold on, take out this one and see. So if you do this and you sleep with your hair like this overnight, it will it will look really cute. It will, I promise. You have to like take them out carefully too. One day a, a lady did my hair for me she, you know, she wrapped it up so it would be straight. And I was late for breakfast and I went to take it down and I pulled the shirt off my head because I had to wrap it in a shirt overnight. And I just like was brushing it down. And she, from the line at the door, yelled at me in the bathroom. She goes, no, don't do it like that. You have to be like really gentle, unlike me, but you can tell. You can tell that it's doing a little something something. Please don't judge this method based on my ability to do it because obviously I am not good when it comes to hair. I just, I barely know how to, you know, take care of my hair. I have high hopes for this one little guy right here. I have high hopes. I pulled on it really hard. Okay. Oh, but look, like it is, it is cute. I would say that that is a success. I just like really hope that you guys can see. I feel like that is a, a successful moment for my hair, you know? I feel like this is like super good. For me, I'm not this one little piece of hair. So that's how women curl their hair in prison, but they are so much better than me. They are more talented than me. They are more patient than me. And they really take the time to make sure they have perfect waves and man, do they crush it. You'd be surprised how talented these women are in prison. <laughs> All right, you guys, I'm gonna end today's video here. As always, I love you. Stay safe, stay in recovery, whatever that looks like to you. And I will see you all in my next one. Bye guys. All that stuff is in the description box. I already said that already. This is a mess. Oh God. Make sure to cut out all of my mistakes. Glamorous. Glamorous.